Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're going to be doing my March empties. I know that I say this in every single video that I do that is empties related, but I love empties videos so much. They are absolutely some of my very favorite videos on YouTube because I feel like it is just such a comprehensive review of a product. It's not something that you've used as a first impression. It's not even something that you've just been using long enough to review, which is, you know, usually a few weeks. You have used this puppy from start to finish. You know exactly how you feel about it, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. And I love hearing that because at the end of the day, we wanna save money, right? We do not wanna buy products that we get home and we're like, oh, I should not have spent this money because then either A, you're just not enjoying using your products, which sucks, or you're just not using it at all and it goes to waste and that sucks too. So, empties videos for me are awesome and I love them. If you love empties videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new, welcome. I am so excited that you decided to click on this video and if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. But without further ado, let's talk about my garbage. Before we do that though, I do have two declutters, unfortunately. So I have these two right here. This is an eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott. It's called Thank Me Later. This, this I know came in, I'm pretty sure in Ipsy years and years and years ago. And I did use it for quite a while. And then I got something new and started using it and that's how my cycle tends to go. But I had every intention of going back to this. I tried to break into it again a few weeks ago and it had separated, squirted oil just all over my fingers and just not, I tried to kind of squish it back together in the tube, but it did not work. So unfortunately this guy is a declutter. Also we have an eyeliner that is again, years and years and years old. This is by NYX. This is the Tre Jolie. Pretty sure I did not say that well at all. Um, I know that this is many years old because this I purchased because of Kathleen Lights. She used to rave, rave about this eyeliner. So I went out and bought it too. I bought this before I was even pregnant with my son. He is now three. So this is at least four years old. Um, and unfortunately, it is completely dried out. I tried even breaking a piece off of it, thinking, you know, the part at the top tends to dry out, but product below it might be better. It is not. It is just dried out and gummy. And unfortunately, both of these have to hit the bin and they are just wasted products, which I don't enjoy. But now let's into the happy stuff, the things that I actually used up and got my money's worth out of. Let's talk those instead. So I do actually have two hair care products this, this time around. I have a shampoo and conditioner. These are by Redken. This is their All Soft, and this is a natural vegan line from them. I don't know why I had trouble saying that. So this is a softening condition for dry and brittle hair. It was fine. Um, it is definitely not my favorite formula. Um, but it is fine. Obviously I used it from start to finish. It does not smell nice. So if you are someone who enjoys the really nice smelling shower stuff, this is not going to be it. <laughs> it definitely, it isn't even like it has a natural smell to it. It has kind of like a, a chemically smell to it, which is weird since it's supposed to be all natural and vegan. Don't really know, but did not enjoy that. However, it cleansed my hair just fine. It moisturized it enough. I typically go for a heavier moisturizer when it comes to my conditioner because I do have very coarse, curly-ish hair that kind of does its own thing. So it's not something that I would go out and repurchase. I think that if you have I don't want to, yeah, I would say if you have more fine hair, this is something that you might really enjoy or even more of just, I don't know, I don't want to say normal hair because I know that that is kind of a label that we are moving away from for good reason, but you know, just your 
average hair, I guess. I don't really know what we're calling it these days. Uh, but if you have like me thicker, more coarse hair, I don't think it's quite enough for you. The next thing that I finished up is this from Dove. This is a exfoliating body polish and this one is in the, I guess, scent crushed macadamia and rice milk. This was awesome. This was awesome. I really, really loved this. I bought this as a multi-pack from Sam, so I do have another one in this scent as well as one in a different scent that is currently in my shower now, and I love it. It is so nice. It is definitely got some good exfoliating grit to it, but it's not big and chunky. It doesn't feel like it's ripping up my skin. It feels exactly like the name implies, like a polish. I loved this. This scent for me was fantastic. 100% will repurchase when I go through both of these because it is really good and I really, really like it a lot. All right, let's move into some skincare. So I did go through two skincare items and they are both minis. So the first one is from Laneige. This is their water sleeping mask. This is, this is just okay, to be honest with you. It is not, I really, I think I had high expectations for this because I love their sleeping lip mask so much. It is my holy grail. I absolutely love it. So when I got this sample, I really felt like it was going to be amazing. And it's just fine. Like it's not bad by any means, but it doesn't feel like anything special. And I'm a little bit disappointed because I also have a full size because I just assumed that I would love it. And um, yeah, so it's fine, but it's not something that I recommend to be honest with you. What I do recommend, you guys have seen many times on my channels and my empties. This is the Belief True Cream. This one is the Aqua Bomb. I've gone through both the Aqua Bomb and the Moist. Uh, what's the other one called? It's the the cream version. Um, but as you can see, we are totally empty. All done. Um, this stuff is amazing. Both versions are amazing. My skin just drinks it in and it just feels so hydrated and plumped and perfected. This stuff is magic in a bottle and I have always raved about it and wholeheartedly have always recommended it. So pick yourself up some of this. It is fantastic. And the rest is actually makeup. I'm kind of excited. All right, so we did finish up a lip balm. This is the Burt's Bees Soothing Lip Balm with Eucalyptus and Menthol. And yes, I did say we because oftentimes I will share lip balms with my husband. So he definitely took this over at some point and we used it all the way down. So I like Burt's Bees. I don't like it as much as I did back in the day. I know that for a long time this was the only kind of um, lip balm that I would buy because I was obsessed. Um, I don't necessarily love the eucalyptus and menthol and in fact I don't think it's supposed to be actually very good for you which makes me laugh because it's marketed as like a medicated type of substance but I think it actually can dry your lips out further. I don't know but oh, it's not a repurchase for me but we did use it up. I also used up a deluxe sample of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is my favorite primer potion to be quite honest with you. So I am very excited that I got this baby used up and I am moving on to another deluxe sample of the same thing because it's my fave. I also used up a deluxe sample of the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. As I said with the last one that I used up, it's just okay. It's um, not my favorite. It is somewhat moisturizing, but I feel like it just is fine. <laughs> it isn't quite hydrating enough to be a moisturizer, but as a primer, I don't really feel like it does anything special either. So it's okay. Glad to have another primer done and used up. And then the last two items. We got some mascara in here. So this is my Fenty mascara. This is, what is this technically called? The Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara in the shade Cousin Black. 
Um, this I bought because I absolutely loved the sample that I had and so I purchased a full size. This is what the wand looks like. So it's this kind of flat paddle and then you turn it to the side and it's uh, more narrow. So it's an interesting concept for the brush. I found that sometimes I liked that and other times I made a mess with it. I don't know what the difference was from day to day, but I found that I got very different results from day to day. Um, I really loved the sample. I didn't find that I loved the full size quite as much, which is so weird to me, but it's a good mascara. It's fine. I didn't notice that it had any sort of flaking or transfer. Honestly, my, my, issue was probably user error to be honest with you but it had more to do with just having the inconsistent application and sometimes causing myself a bit of a mess while I was trying to evenly coat my lashes but not a bad product at all by any means this one though I really loved I really loved it this is by Nabla this is the major pleasure mascara first of all this packaging is nice and weighted it feels like it is some sort of metal and I Think it just feels so luxe which really has no bearing on the performance of a product obviously but it feels nice when you're using it and then as far as the brush went this one is a nice one in my opinion so it is a natural bristle brush that has just a slight hourglass shape to it it is a good size for me because i didn't find that i made a mess with it which is good um I have a lot of problems sometimes applying mascara and not like getting it all over. Again, user error, I'm sure, but this was a joy to use each and every time and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And it is one that if I needed a new mascara, which you guys have seen my inventory, you know I don't, but if I needed a new mascara, this is one that I would definitely pick up and one that I absolutely recommend. And as far as more high-end mascaras go, this one isn't bad as far as price goes. So that is the last makeup item and I'm now seeing that I have one more item that I forgot to have in my little container. And sadly, we have to end on a sour note because I hated these hated these this is the up and up exfoliating cotton rounds so i bought these because they had kind of a neat idea behind them right they have the one side that's just your regular cotton round and then the other side that has these like little nubblies on them so that you know kind of exfoliates a little bit and i thought well that's pretty cool they were not cool <laughs> Um, the nubbly side was fine. That part, you know, that idea, I guess, was fine. The issue that I had was with these cotton rounds. First of all, they soaked up so much product. So much product. They were literally sponges. So I felt like there was a lot of product waste, which I don't appreciate. But in addition to that, they would lint so badly. Like, they would fall apart as I was using them. And I don't use things aggressively. But as I'm using the cotton round, it is falling apart in my hand while it is overly saturated with product. All in all, not a fun experience. Took me a very long time to use through all of those cotton rounds because I did not enjoy them at all and I do not recommend them at all. So I'm so sorry that I'm ending on such a negative note. I meant to do this one earlier in the video and end on the high note with the makeup, but I'm sorry. As always, everything that I have talked about is going to be linked in the description box below, as well as everything that I have on my face. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are having an amazing day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Loved it so much. I really enjoy the texture of it. It has a substantial grit, but it's fine, fine, a fine grit. <laughs> Um, so it really feels like it's doing the job, but it doesn't feel abrasive and well, obviously it feels abrasive because it's an ex- <laughs>